hello everybody in this video we are going to create health bar for our vehicle so for vehicle uh, we are just going to start creating your elements first just we will go to canvas and we will add one new image and we can name this image to uh, background uh, health and we will create one more image and sorry where we are you are and we will create one more image and we will rename it to slide health or anything health slider whatever you want you can say it then we will go to canvas we will select all background health and we can move this to on the top where we need it okay so this is the center we will place our heart here so we can place it a little bit right okay that's fine now i already added some sprites here for background health and we can drag this sprite here like this and after that we can click on uh, this preserve aspect and set native size now we can uh, just add this health bar second image on the second slide uh, image uh, this slide health element and then we can do like this same like another image also we will add this image exactly on that image and then we will resize this image a little bit smaller like this and we will adjust this thing now it's fine we will select both images and scale these images like this because our health bar will be horizontal like this it will be uh, it will seem good but it's very big so we can smaller the size of health bar and now we can adjust its position we can select the background health and change its color to red and now we can select this health and we can change its color to green like that that's it now we will adjust this a little more bit more uh, now I think it's absolutely fine yeah here yeah, it's fine now what we will do we will change image type to field and we will fill method horizontal and this left is fine okay now if we drag the slider you can see the change uh, there fill uh, in fill amount so uh, physically our health bar is ready now the time is for some scripting before scripting we will add one more image here Sorry. Uh, we will add one more image our UI image and we will rename this image to her and we will place this heart here and we can adjust this heart with this health bar Yeah, now this is absolutely fine I think yeah, like this and this yeah now it's fine we'll make it a little bit smaller okay, because on desktop it will be very big here we can't analyze the accurate result but it's my experience that on desktop it will look too big so we are making this smaller now it's fine yeah now it's absolutely fine now we will add some scripts I already added some scripts I will explain so we will go to scripts and here I have added basic script for health bar so what this script is saying, I'll explain. The 
this ecliptic uh, first of all we have to add this unity engine dot ui uh, library after that we will add some variables one variable we added image health bar and we should rename our image to health bar okay this image which is a slide health okay so we'll rename it to image uh, sorry what was name health bar okay like this exactly the same name uh, after that we will uh, we add a float maximum health uh, this is float value and 100 f is the uh, full health value okay 100 points you can say and public static float health we created one more element uh, sorry variable of naming uh, health after that we have start our function and in start our health bar equal to get component image it will take component from image and then health equal to maximum health which is 100 f so in this start our health will be 100 percent wide update then after in update function while playing the game the health bar fill amount will be affected by health slash maximum health so that's the thing what we need for our health bar that's it okay now we will place this uh, script onto our health bar this uh, slice uh, slide slider so we'll place this health bar here and we can also uh, arrange these things like this uh, health bar so that will be categorized so the health bar mm, main you can see main or background and then we can drag this inside this health bar now uh, this health bar we have added this script okay that's one now we want to uh, apply uh, that when if uh, for example we uh, we will uh, want to check this uh, uh, health of uh, this vehicle okay so what we can do we can uh, now uh, at this time we will add one cube here just for te testing purpose okay and later on during developing the game we will get some more good ideas and we will apply this health to uh, that section so now we have this uh, sorry cube and we can add some script to this cube okay so here we added this cube we'll just make it uh, smaller inside and we can duplicate this one i'm just duplicating to show you the how health bar will work okay so i added like this and now we will add our gain health and lose health scripts so for gaining health if suzuki collide with some object then health bar will be increased by 20 f so 20 percent health will be increased and with this the it will destroy that game object it's very important actually if you didn't destroy the element this health will uh, this uh, wherever uh, the collider lies you will lose your health so for example if you have one cube if you collide with that cube it can consume your whole hundred percent energy so plus equal to 20 and the same for lose health we have created lose health script and we just minus 20 f 20 percent force uh, from health from 100 percent that's it control s we will go to here and we will add our lose health script to q1 where is q1 yeah so lose health we can add here we'll select cube 2 we can add gain health we can it's just for testing okay lose health and then we can come here and gain health that's it we will play the game and now if our suzuki collide with this collider oh nothing happened because we didn't enable the um, uh, triggers okay so we will select these boxes and we will check this is trigger option and now if we play the game you 
can see change in health bar. Which increase? Which decrease? Which increase? So our health bar is working absolutely fine and that's it for this video and in next video we are going to create some more scripts and more functionalities to our game. Thank you very much.